Hello, my name is Tally. Welcome back to my channel. I am horrendously ill. Today I've been in bed all day. Luckily I've been off work, otherwise I would have had to call in sick. But it means that I'm really behind on everything I need to do today, including Glastonbury packing and just like sorting my life out beforehand. So I've just taken a tablet so I like have a bit more energy and we've just made the epic to-do list of everything to do before and I've just like got some of my clothes out um, from like up in the wardrobe I've got the bags out I've got the camping box out right now I'm gonna sort through my clothes and decide what clothes I'm taking if there's anything that needs washing before we go we are going on Monday it's currently Friday because we are working at Glastonbury we're doing wristbanding with a company called Festaf so we're there from Monday to Monday when the festival starts on Thursday I think it is so full weeks worth of stuff that we're bringing and that means you know got to get ready to go on a horrendously early train on Monday and I'm working Saturday and Sunday um, five hours each day so that shortens the amount of time I have as well which is why I'm like powering through need to get packed oh I'm out of breath already right let's try on some outfits what I've got clothes wise probably would have been way easier if I made the bed first but I've got four legwear options denim shorts this pair of shorts these trousers for when it gets cooler and a long skirt and then I've got seven tops that go with things like I've kind of put them like what tops go with which bottoms but quite a few of the tops would go with kind of any of them and the denim shorts would go with any of these tops so it kind of depends what the weather's doing and you know what a fancy wearing and I'm gonna bring one spare top which is in the wash maybe two spare tops just in case and I think that should be it apart from warm layers which I need to sort out now and the packing will resume tomorrow because I need a cup of tea and to go back to bed <laughs> This is the shittest epilator in the world. It's from Lidl and would not recommend. It doesn't even have a light on it, so I have to use my phone torch. What the hell? Just had a little bunny grooming sesh. He's nice and... Look at all of the hair that's come off him. So much fluff. I've just got back from work. I'm feeling a lot better actually, so thank God for that. And we're going to split the kitchen again for the rabbits. So this is like their current run, the two halves, because they're not friends yet. And before we've had it so the whole room is split in half, so they have like half of the room each to run around in. And we're gonna do it like that again so while we're away, the neighbours are coming to feed them, but it means they've got more room to run about in and get some exercise. Hey Google, play indie party. <laughs> This is the finished setup. 
this um, cage thing literally a lifesaver. Last time we kind of fashioned a barrier out of like bits of their other cages and like bits of wood and stuff. This is so much easier. I will link this down below if you're interested. It's been amazing. So they've got plenty of room to run about in. We just have to step over it each time. And they've got lots of hay. Boop's got a new box. Very happy with this new box. Oh, you're gonna go up there, Boopo. Wow, so clever. Are you gonna go on the table? Yeah, we're gonna put the chairs away when we go away so that this doesn't happen. Where are you gonna go next? This did happen before when we went to Marrakesh and we put on the table like all of the treats and all of their food and like all the hay and stuff. And when we came back, there was like hay all over the table and treats all over the table. So he's clearly got on the table and tried to eat everything. So he definitely can do it. Hey baby. Hey. You making a mess? You making a mess? You being a ghost. Hey baby fan. Can you smell toast? Can you smell toast? Smell to you, baby. So toiletries are packed, we've got toilet roll and tissues, my makeup, we've got some like jazzy eyeshadow but the rest of it is just like normal. These um, bags from airports or sandwich bags are great because then you can see what's inside them. Um, I've used these little tester pots from Lush just to decant some of my bigger stuff in. So we've got moisturiser, a scrub, we're going to do like a midweek <laughs> facial scrub to get all the sun cream off. And a cleanser. This has got all of our drugs in it. So we've got Gaviscon, hay fever tablets, travel sickness tablets, paracetamol, cold and flu. What else? Imodium. We haven't got Imodium. We should get what? some. We'll get some Imodium. Um, there's also batteries in here and like um, bug bite cream. Loads of stuff going on in there got antiseptic wipes which we bought for like cuts but then it says on the back that they can be used for hands and surfaces so they'll be handy for like cleaning our cutlery as well two hand sanitizers toothpaste adam's hair stuff sun cream dry shampoo oh they're not all gonna fit in there are they i'll get a different bag for them baby wipes um menstrual products because i don't know when I'm going to be coming on, who knows? And I wanted to use my reusables, but then I don't want to have to carry dirty pads around for the rest of the week. Um, so disposables are the ones. And we've got towels. This is like a expandable towel, and I'm not really sure how this works. You need to get it wet, and then it expands, but then I'll need to dry it before I then use it. So we'll see how that works, but it's nice and small, so easy to carry and then we've got a list of things to pack tomorrow bringing our um, shampoo bars and conditioner bars rather than liquids because they are much lighter <laughs> So that is two sleeping bags and two pillows in that compression sack and that's going at the bottom of the backpack. We're not really doing like separate bags, like that's Adam's bag, that's my bag. We're just putting everything in together where it fits best. Yeah, so we can get it out the bottom because 
we'll need that first but then it'll be easier to carry with the heavier stuff in the bottom. DUV and scouting experience here. We are pro um, at packing bags. And then this is the bag that I'm taking. So it's like a squashy one that also, oops, also has wheels. So when we get in the trains, I can wheel it. And when we get there, I can pick it up. I've just got back from work and we're just resuming packing and this is everything that we have left to pack. Apart from food. Apart from food. So we've got toiletries are all in that tote bag. Our clothes are all in here. The tent. The cool bag is going to be full of some food but we, there's a Tesco not far from Glastonbury so we're going to go there when we get there. What's in here? The sleeping bags, sleeping wellies, bag, wellies, shoes, the, the picnic rug, picnic rug, that's about it, Burks. Burks. toiletries are going to go in there, so this is everything left, we need to charge everything, um, and then all battery packs are charged, it's going to go away. <laughs> while we're at the festival. So we're going to be making pot noodle and porridge that you can make with boiling water. Because we're working at the festivals, we have access to boiling water, to kettles, but if you're not working at a festival, I'm sure if you ask the food store vendors for some boiling water, they would give it to you for a small charge so you'd be able to make these recipes yourself. So let's have a look at what we're making today. So first thing we're making is the porridge pots and I'm making two portions at once here. So you just need four tablespoons of porridge oats per person. Or one tablespoon of skimmed milk per person. Oh, I should have blended the oats first. I forgot a step because I'm a professional. Before you put the skimmed milk in, you need to blend the oats or put them in a food processor, but I've got one of these handheld blenders. So I'm just gonna cover it with a tea towel so it doesn't like spray oats everywhere. Ooh, still got oats everywhere. That's just so that when you put the boiling water in it can get to all of the oats. I don't know the science behind it. And then you put your toppings in. So we are having chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, pecans, and some milk chocolate. And the chocolate melts when you put the boiling water in. I'll put one more for good luck. Then you just need to put them into a receptacle to store them. I'm just using this paper bag. And keep them dry before you use them. And then when you want to make your porridge, you just put it into a cup or a container like this and put 120 millilitres of boiling water over. Give it a stir and leave it to stand for a little while. Oh no, I ripped the bag. Oh no. Oh no. It's now in a better receptacle and we'll split that over to Tupperwares when we're ready to eat it. 
Why is this still coming out? On to our next recipe. For the pot noodle, you will need a pot or a Tupperware or anything similar that can contain your noodles. And with this, it's all about layering your ingredients so that they stay nice and fresh. So on the bottom, I'm putting a load of soy sauce. We like soy sauce, so there's quite a bit. I'll just use all of that. And some Chinese five spice, just to give it a bit of flavoring. Then I'm gonna put some frozen veg. Then the partially cooked fine noodles that I've kind of let them dry out a bit as well. And I just had to change my memory card, so I've put the noodles in there. And then I'm putting some fresh ingredients, so I'm putting some chopped chilli, it's not a very spicy chilli, and some spring onions on top so that they stay nice and fresh. So when it comes to cooking these, I'm just going to add some miso paste which came in sachets. If you wanted to put miso paste in and it doesn't come in sachets for you, you can put it at the very bottom, but ours comes in sachets so we'll just keep it that way. Pour boiling water in right up to the top, give it a good stir, and then it's pretty much ready to eat. I will put the link to those actual recipes in the description if you want to follow them. And you'll have to wait and see for my Glastonbury vlog to see how they were. I have tested them at home, but like, I don't know how they're gonna travel, so we'll have to, you'll have to wait and see. So that's us pretty much packed. We've got a couple of bits to do this evening, including editing this vlog and some bits to do in the morning, like to pack up all the food that's in the fridge and the freezer and like just last little bits like chargers and toothbrushes. So we'll do that. It really doesn't feel like we've got that much stuff with us, which is a little bit concerning. If you've noticed anything that we've forgotten, it's too late, we're, we're on our way <laughs> as this is being published. Since we're going to Glastonbury a couple of days earlier than you might be if you're watching this, I will put in the comments if we did forget anything major that you must remember, so have a look in there. And these packing tips, not really packing tips, this this packing um, could really be applied to any festival. So if you're going to another one, I hope you have an awesome time. If you're going to Glastonbury this year, maybe I'll see you there. Probably not, because so many people. Thank you so much for watching this video, and my next one will be my Glastonbury vlog, so subscribe to this channel so you don't miss that. And I'll see you then. Bye.